all your affections. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, with all thine soul, and with all thy might. Deuteronomy 6.5 are rapidly approaching the end of summer. Many Christians started the summer as holy, God-fearing warriors for God, but over the weeks and months they began to slip into lethargy and sin. God at the beginning of summer was first place in their lives. Now he has taken a back seat to friends and parties. Reverend J.G. Pike called that the greatest of sins. He wrote these words, has God had all your heart? Have all your affections been fixed on him? Has he been loved with all your soul and mind, and thus stood highest in your esteem? If not, however fair and pleasing your outward conduct may be, you may have been committed the greatest of sins. For you have lived breaking God's first and great commandment. If to love God above all things is the first and greatest commandment, to live negligent of him must be one of the greatest sins, and indeed a sin that opens the way to every other. These words may be strong, but they are so true. We are dealing with the first commandment. God chose this particular commandment to lead all the others. Without God reigning supreme in our affections and desires, we are open for all other idols to enter in. An idol is anything that takes place of God. The reason people commit all the other dark sins, such as murder and adultery, is because they haven't fulfilled the first commandment. This devotional was taken from the Reverend Steve Hill's book, Daily Awakenings, and I pray you have a blessed day.